I shalom. Uh, all praise going on honor goes to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakak Wadash. Double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and Real Well, and peace and blessing to the elect. Uh, it's another GMS uh, news and prophecy. And uh, <clears throat> basically, uh, I have an article here, but Basically, what I want to get into is uh, this uh, this uh, Syria conflict that's been, um, you know, being spoken about in the news for really the past couple of days. I know uh, a lot heavy uh, yesterday, a lot heavy today, and um, I got actually a couple of headlines of articles pulled up. That I'm gonna get into, and then I'm gonna get into the scriptures because it made me think of a particular scripture, because there's been all kinds of heat being uh, pushed out there in the news lately. All right, um, so this is just some things you know dealing with Iran, uh, you know the United States Russia war, you know just some things that I uh, I keep up to date on on a day to day basis. All right, so I'm gonna read a couple of these headlines. And uh, <clears throat> what you have here is uh, the Iran-Israel conflict escalates in shadow of the Syrian civil war. Um, it says uh, Russian, and this is from the New York Times. It says Russian and Iranian news services reported that two Israeli F-15 warplanes carried out the strike, which a conflict monitor said killed 14 people. Uh, both countries see themselves as part of the actors of resistance. Uh, and uh, I, an alliance of forces opposed to American and Israeli influence in the Middle East. All right. So what you have here is you have um, those two opposing uh, superpowers in the earth. OK. Which one is Babylon the Great and one is the Medes. OK. And that's prophecy. You read that in uh, Isaiah the 13th chapter. All right. Um one says here, it says, Russia outs Israel, says two Israeli fighter jets struck Iranian base in Syria. Okay? And that's what a lot of the hubbub, so to speak, in the news is about dealing with um, Syria right now. Because it was reported that uh, there was a strike in Syria, and either the Israelis, you know, which is Amalek and the scriptures, the so-called Jews, or the Americans, these Edomites, okay, that was uh, behind that strike. But they struck Iran, but they but the base was in Syria. Okay? Um, let's see. Uh, it says that the Russian military said on Monday that two Israeli F-15 warplanes carried out airstrikes on a Syrian air base near homes on Sunday. Okay? Uh, it says the conversation revolved around Netanyahu's concerns that the U.S. will withdraw from Syria and allow Israel's enemies, all right, Iran and I guess its affiliate nations, to to um, continue on there. But see, the prophecy in the scriptures also states, all right, that the least of the flock shall draw them out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into these scriptures. All right, I had a couple of ones, but um, before. I get into these. Let me go into um, the book of Isaiah, the 13th chapter. All right. And this is Isaiah 13. And uh, I'm going to read verse 1. It says, The burden of Babylon, which Isaiah, the son of Amos, did see. Now, Babylon is talking about uh, America at this point, okay? Because uh, certain things happen in the ancient world, but this particular Babylon, we're speaking about America, Babylon the Great, or the daughter of Babylon, okay? Um, so I, I just want to make that point. Now, I'm going to jump down to, uh, let's see, I believe it's around verse 18 and 19, right, verse, uh, actually... Let's see if I can find it. All right, verse 17. All right, it says, Behold, I will stir up the Medes against them. Okay, now the Medes is talking about Russia. So the Medes are going against, so, so the Medes 
are going to be against Babylon, which Babylon is America, all right? And the Medes today in that land will be the Russians. So that's the two opposing superpowers right there. Those that are allied with Iran, which is the Russians, the Chinese, as opposed to those allied with Israel, which is America and these other Western nations at this particular point, okay? All right, it says, their bows also shall dash the young men to pieces, which is these hypersonic nuclear missiles and other Satan II nuclear missiles that Russia and these other intercontinental ballistic missiles that their allies have, man. Okay? It says, their bows also shall dash the young men to pieces, meaning these different military men, okay, and these people over here in the United States. Okay? You American citizens out there. It says, and they should have no pity on the fruit of the womb. Their eyes shall not spare children. All right? It says, uh, and Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, which is America, the beauty of the Chaldees' excellency shall be as when the Most High overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. And we know that ancient Babylon was not overthrown like Sodom and Gomorrah was overthrown by fire. So what Babylon is this talking about? It's talking about this spiritual Babylon which is uh, the United States of America, okay? All right? Um, and I quoted the other scripture. Let me go back here. I just want to make sure I get right. Okay, now it talked about the least of the flock shall draw them out because the U.S. is not going to withdraw from the Middle East, all right? Let's see, actually, it might be let's see, Jeremiah 51. Jeremiah 51, I believe it's around 45, 40s. Let's see. Let's bear me for one second. But it talks about where, matter of fact, Jeremiah 49. Jeremiah 49 is when, I know what, I'll just see if I can type it in. All right, let's see. Let me for a second. All right, over through. No matter of fact, the right, it's a lucky that was just a that was Satan, but uh, <clears throat> uh, right, Jeremiah 50, excuse me, Jeremiah 50 and 45. It says, Therefore, hear ye the counsel of the Lord. Uh, that he had taken against Babylon and his purposes, that he had purposed against the land of the Chaldeans, surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. Surely he shall make the habitation desolate with them. So basically what's, what, what's going to happen is these so-called Jews, the least of the flock of Edom. See, now I can go to Jeremiah 49 and around the, uh, right, the 20th verse and it's, and break it down because the least of the flock of the Edomites, which is Amalek, the so-called Jews, they're going to draw America out into a war. Whether America strikes first or Israel strikes first, they're going to be allied together. All right? So this is Jeremiah 49 and 20. It says, Therefore, hear the counsel of the Lord they are taken against Edom, which proves that Edom and Babylon are synonymous in these prophecies. Okay? It says, uh, And his purpose is that he had purpose against the inhabitants of Teman. All right? which is basically uh, uh, another city of Edom, okay? It says, Surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. Surely he shall make their habitations desolate with them. All right, because the land of Israel is going to meet nuclear destruction and America is going to meet nuclear destruction. But the land of Israel is going to be beautified, as thus says the Lord, so that the Israelites, us, we can dwell in that land again, starting with the elect, all right? So these are just the things that's been going on in the news lately. These prophecies are taking place, man. Okay? Uh, 
I'm just reading some more. It says, regional tensions soar in Syria as Trump threatens to strike and Iranians die in an attack. Uh, it says, and this is from the Washington Post in Beirut, the prospect of a U.S. strike on Syria in retaliation for an alleged chemical attack coupled with a missile raid apparently carried out by Israel that killed Iranian military personnel has underscored the risk that the conflict is on the brink of dangerous, of dangerous escalation. So things are to escalate, man. Okay. Um, it says here, it says Trump vows quick action on barbaric Syria chemical attack. Uh, Israel signals Russia and Iran. We're not scared of military conflict. All right. Uh, all right. Now, I think it was another. It's, it's some more things that I had on Syria, right? Syria, China. Uh Right here it says China backs probe into suspected serial criminal attack. Gulf states condemn the incident. Because and, and this is the Lord of the hosts. It says that in Isaiah 13, this is the Lord of the hosts, which is really Yahweh, all right, of armies, the king of the armies. He's the one gathering all these military armies in the earth together. Okay? Um, so Syria is heavy in the news. China as well. Uh, how should America respond to serious use of chemical weapons? And 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 that's a uh, false allegation because it's really the uh, the uh, the uh, false flag um, attacks and different um, secret agencies of America and Israel that's actually enacting these attacks, man. Okay. Uh, uh, here is, is back dealing with Syria, Iran, and U.S. and Russia. It says, Syria strikes spotlight Israel's nightmare and entrenched Iran. Okay, uh, here, another one says, Israel is now directly confronting Iran and Syria. All right. Uh, here it says, U.S. Right, it says, uh, man, if I remember, it says, uh, the U.S. said it is not responsible for the strike, which we know they are. Okay, or whether, or it could be Israel. But they both work hand in hand, two sides of the same coin. Okay? It says Russian and Syrian officials blame Israel and Israel refused to comment. Okay? It says twice in the past, in March last year and in February of this year, Israel has taken responsibility for attacking that very base where Iranian military advisors are present. Okay? And it's always around this time of the year. Okay? And this is really also what I want to get into too. Okay, because the news is hot right now. Prophecy is hot right now. Okay? And the thing about it is, when you look back in history, it's not unlike different militaries and governments to go to war. Okay? All right? Around this time of the year. All right? Uh, it says here, it says, U.S. military strike, more sanctions against Russia, likely after chemical attack in uh, Syria. Uh, right. It says, uh, uh, the POTUS, which means the President of the United States, pledged, uh, pledged to withdraw from Syria, which he said that about a week ago. He's like, he, uh, he talked with, I believe, Putin or Russia, and he said that he, um, they, in a short time, that they would remove some Syria. But now that you had these attacks, now, that doesn't seem likely, okay? Because, see, America and these elites through America, they set these things up so they can start their war, okay? It says, uh, it says, po it says president, the president of the United States players to withdraw from Syria has only emboldened Assad, backed by Russia and Iran, to commit more war crimes in Duma, he tweeted. Poachers responded, uh, after last year's chemical attack, uh, he should do so again and make us all pay a price for his brutality. All right, and these are just you know things that they've trumped up. <laughs> all right, no pun intended. All right, but um, these things are happening at a high rate. And that's why it's it's our job as the men, the Lord, and the hopeful elect, as the prophets and servants of Yahweh Bashmiyah Shai, to point these things out. Now, like I said, it's 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 um around that this time of year that 
these room, these wars and rumors of wars, you know, begin to um, um, spark up. All right, just give me one second. All right, <clears throat> but yeah, you know, it's around this time that that um, these different governments and kings go to war. Okay, so. Uh, right now, let's see. Let me see. Is this the right article? I want to see which one I want to get first. Okay, matter of fact, okay, cause, yeah, yeah, because it made me think of this scripture here. All right, and I believe it was another one. Matter of fact, yeah, it was. Let me go back. Let me go to this scripture here. Let's go back. All right. Because there's just so many prophecies taking place. All right, you got. Right, all right, so this is 2 Samuel 11 and 1. All right, it says, And it came to pass after the year was expired. Okay, now you got to remember, this is the Bible and, and it's written by Hebrews. So now we're getting into time here. And, and uh, well, not just Hebrews, but Israelites, Hebrew Israelites. And our, our time and our calendar and our year works different than the American calendar. So, number one, I want to get the American calendar out of your mind. This is a totally different calendar. We're dealing with the scriptures. Okay? Um, so, so, we're talking about here where it says, And it came to pass after the year was expired. Now, the year that the Israelites' year started, or expired was around February, March, going into you know March and April, okay. And when the end of winter and the beginning of spring, that's when the year starts, okay. So when the year is expired, that's when the winter's over, okay. Now I'm gonna prove that. Let's go to the book of Exodus. All right, Exodus chapter twelve. In the first, in uh, the first verse, it says, "This is during the year of the Passover, or the time of the Passover, which we're, which we just really came, really uh, here, Great Millstone, about a month, a month ago, okay, a little over a month ago, you know, we had our Passover, all right. So it says, and and the Lord Yahweh spake unto Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, saying, This month shall be unto you." The beginning of months. It shall be the first month of the year to you. Alright? And I believe it goes into... Let's see. Because it's going to tell you... Alright? The month... And the year. Okay? All right, so it says that this month is the first month of the year. I'll just get it. All right. When you go into the month of Bib, right. Now, this is Exodus 13 and, and uh, Exodus 13. And three, it says, And Moses said unto the people, Remember this day in which ye came out of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. For by strength of hand the Lord Yahweh brought you out from this place. There shall no living bread be eaten. This day came ye out in the month of Bib. Okay? Now we read in Exodus 12 how this, first, this month was the first month. So this would be a Bib. And when you go into the Hebrew, all right, the word for a bib, which we have the month here, should be kadash, right, kadash, the new moon. All right, month, monthly, the first day of the month, the lunar month. So the new moon governs the uh, the month, all right? The moon governs the month, and this will be a bib, which in the Hebrew is abayab, which means uh, fresh, young, barley, ears, month of ear forming, of greening, of crop of growing green is it's when you start planting things and things start growing. Okay, it says uh, a bib month of Exodus and Passover, March or April. 
So March or April is is the time that uh that um you know the year has expired. Okay? So going back to uh what is second Samuel, right? This second Samuel eleven and one, it says, and it came to pass after the year was expired, which we know that that's at the end of winter, February eleventh. I mean, uh, <laughs> February uh, um, or March, right? Um, it says, at the time when kings go forth to battle, okay? So kings would usually go forth to battle when the year would be over, which would be, which a new year, according to the Hebrew calendar, would be, or the, the Israelite calendar, all right? would be um, uh, either March or April, around the springtime, okay? It says, uh, it's, I'm referring to reading, it says that David sent Joab and his servants with him and all Israel, and they destroyed the children of Ammon and besieged Rabbah, but David tarried still at Jerusalem, okay? So I did a quick search, I was, you know, because like I said, I thought of this scripture, and... Uh, Right, so this came up. All right, matter of fact, no, let me get this one first. Oh, yeah, yeah, this one. All right. Now, this is from two months ago. All right, now it says, Kings go to war in the spring. Israel versus Iran, Psalms 83. All right, now this is from uh, L.A. Marzuli's blog. All right, and I just went through Google. To uh, look for these things, all right? But it was pretty interesting, you know. Um, whoever put together this blog or this article, they, you know, their uh, insight is pretty keen, especially when it comes to the scriptures. And you know, more than likely, they've been watching uh, Israelite videos, all right, or well, really, Great Millstone videos, because not uh, not that many camps go into these prophecies like we do. All right. Uh, let's see. All right. So it says Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu told the Munich Security Conference on Sunday, "We will act if necessary." And I notice this is about two months ago. So two months ago is February when the year is expiring. Okay, at the end of winter. All right, going into March. So it says we were active necessary, not just against Iran's proxies, but against Iran itself if needed. Okay? So this is this guy Benjamin Netanyahu. Right, now matter of fact, this image here is after this um uh Russian drone, I believe it was a Russian drone had a crash landing in, in Israel or Gaza area somewhere, and he was a uh, Speaking his speech unto their leaders, you know, being proud because these devils are proud, man. Um, so I'm not going to get too much into it, but it was just something uh, that he has that this person said in, in this article. All right, uh, so it says here it says anti Semitism is rising in Europe. The United Nations voted against Jerusalem as the capital of Israel and the United States moving uh, our embassy there, okay? And, and this is all true in the news from uh, December of 2017. It says, uh, then there's the Iranian drone that flew over Israel and was subsequently shot down last week, okay? So this thing has been brewing up for a number of years to the last couple of months, man. So something in the spirit definitely is going to happen. All right? It says, I've stated this before and will do so once again. When, when not if Israel goes to war, she must cut the heads of the snakes. Uh, and, and it's talking about these so-called Jews, Amalek. All right? The elite Illuminati America, Netanyahu, not uh, the so-called black span the Native Americans. It's Israel. But these are false Jews. All right? The ones that say they're Jews and are not. Okay? It says this means she has to go after the Iranians as well as their proxies in Lebanon, Hezbollah. Then she has to clear out Gaza and perhaps retake the land. 
It says kings go to war in the spring. And that is right around the corner. Right now I read the scripture. About in the time when the years expired. That's when kings go to battle. They, they do battle. They go to war. Okay. Alright. It says with the continued fight against Syria. And the instability and corruption of Iraqi government, of government, as well as the rest, the recent arresting of Saudi nobility, that's why now you got this uh, the, uh, so-called crown Saudi prince. Now he's going around and he's he says that Israel has these Jews have a right to the land, and I believe earlier today he just um, um, uh, he uh, he's a uh, he met up with this guy um. In uh, France, I forget his name, in Paris, all right, one of their leaders, okay? So, think, you know, so things are heating up, and this is why our brothers got to be on point with their uh, their news watching, okay, and filter them all through the prophecies, okay? So it says, uh, as well as the recent arresting of Saudi nobility on massive corruption charges, which the West probably, you know, American, all them, you know, they probably trumped that up. You know, Trump, Trump I keep saying, you know, Trump them charges up, okay, so they can get up in there, all right, or put their puppet leader up in there. So it says, one can see that the Middle East is unstable as ever, okay. Uh, and that was just the main point I wanted to get out of this. You know, I was just going into, you know, when kings go to battle, when kings go to war, and this around this time here in spring, okay. Um. Oh, see, now it's freezing. Okay, okay, I, I see what happened. Let me blow this back up. All right, so now let's go. Now, this was uh, something that a brother in the camp sent yesterday, and I meditated on it, and then, I, you know, I just watched to see what the news was going to say today, and I decided to do this uh, this uh, um, lesson, this Lamad, or this video on it, to... Um, you know, bring this information out because this is heavy, okay. And we're in the year of prophecy, you know, 2018. So definitely something should be brewing up soon, man. In the next couple of days, you know, you got different reports. Uh, this guy Chris Green at AMTV just you know put out a report about it could be hours that even America strikes Syria, okay. So it says uh, here from the Progressive Professor, it says the month of April. The month that four American wars began. So this is U.S. history. All right. It says April is an historical month in so many ways, including the fact that four of the wars in American history began in April. It says the American Revolution began with the shots fired at Lexington and Concord, Massachusetts, on April 19, 1775. I'm going to read the next one. It says the Civil War began on April. All right, here it says the uh, all right, uh, it says the Spanish American War began on April 19, 1898. It says the first World War for America began after Woodrow Wilson asked for a declaration of war against Imperial Germany, uh, the Austro Hungarian Empire, and the Ottoman Turkish Empire on April 2nd, 1917. All right, so um. Hey, it says these four wars transformed America into a nation, into a country that ended slavery, blah, 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 <laughs> right? But basically, so America has gone to war over many, you know, many times in which, hey, it, hey, it did change America as a nation, okay? All right? So hey, this could be that time, you know? But it's why, you know, you have to be uh, circumspect, okay? Um, and I believe that was all that I wanted to bring out. Okay, well, this is now, you know, just to prove my point about the spring and, and, and the time when kings go to war, this is the same scripture I read, Second Samuel 11, chapter in the first verse, but this is in the, the New King James Version. All right, now it says, It happened in the spring of the year at the time when kings go out to battle that David sent Joab and his servants with them and all Israel, and they destroyed the people of Ammon and besieged Rabbah, 
but they but David remained in Jerusalem. So we understand this is the springtime because when you look that word up in the Hebrew, okay. Now it mentions that the uh, spire at the end of the year it means a specified time in the Hebrew, right? Let me see if I can get it. Now it doesn't say this because this is the New King James Version, okay. But this is the the the, the actual King James Version in the Hebrew. And it's saying, and it came to pass after the year expired. Now, when you look this up in the Hebrew, it says a year, a division of time, measure of time, right? And when you go to when it expired, uh, it says a recurrence, an answer, return, a completion of a year, return of a year. So we know and understand, according to our calendar, that the year returns during the spring, Okay. So we're definitely in the year, or should say the time of year, that it's time to go to war, man. Okay? The war, draw, uh, the war drums are beaten, as they say. Okay? Uh, so one more scripture. And um, let's see. Jeremiah. My 51 and 46. Well, I would say 45. All right. And I ended on this. It says, My people go ye out of the midst of her and deliver ye every man his soul from the fierce anger of the Lord. And lest your heart faint and ye fear for the rumor that she be heard in the land, a rumor shall both come one year and after that in another year shall come a rumor and violence in the land, ruler against ruler. The time to Time for kings to go to war. Therefore, behold, the day is come that I will do judgment upon the graven images of Babylon, and the whole land shall be confounded, and all her slain shall fall in the midst of her. Okay? So, hey, it's that time, man. You know, brother, so keep watching and keep praying. All right? Uh, all praise to Yahweh, Basham, Awashai, Basham, Rakak, Wadash, the to the apostles, and elders of Great Millstone. To the next time, Shalom. We're in that time. Shalom.